This is how hard it is to do an intro when Chris doesn't pay attention. What's up, you guys? Thank you guys for tuning in into the video. Obviously, you guys want to see the new project we brought to the car, brought to the shop. I can't even think right now. <sighs> Either way, we figured it out, okay? We'll get it, okay, let's restart. <clears throat> Thank you guys for tuning in to today's video. If you guys click this video, obviously you want to see the new car that we got at the shop. I've been telling you guys a little bit piece by piece on Instagram. If you guys haven't followed, make sure you guys go ahead and follow that. Chris is in the back putting away our orders for our Monday stuff. We get the inventory back in and call everybody that the orders are here, things like that. So shout out to you guys, first of all, keeping us busy. Let's get into a little bit of today's video. Show you guys the car that you guys are waiting to see. And if you, and obviously I'm gonna throw some bits and pieces of my little cool stuff that I've been kind of vlogging about here and there. So thank you guys, hit that sub button if you guys haven't already. And hopefully you guys enjoy that video and make sure you guys check us out. The <laughs> hell was all that? I don't know. I thought someone came in. <laughs> what the hell was that? Uh <laughs> What's up you guys, thank you guys for tuning into today's video. Obviously if you click this video, you're interested in seeing what we're working on today. And what we have as a cool project for the shop. So behind me is an old school Toyota Celica, all wheel drive, all track. If you guys know about this one, you guys know that they only made so many of them. And it basically comes all wheel drive turbo stock. So we definitely have a gem that Clay's been storing on the side of the house for a couple of years that we now want to bring into the project of life. So let's go ahead and show you guys exactly how it sits before we take it to the shop and the tow truck's gonna pull up in like 10, 10 minutes and we're gonna take it over. So let's go ahead and show you guys that. So this is how it's coming to the shop. We got the bumper and all that other stuff. This is the motor setup right now. We're gonna go ahead when we get to the shop, we're gonna yank it all out. We got the turbo, uh, we're gonna rebuild it. We're gonna just basically play with the stock motor for as long as we can. And then once we get it all pieced together, we'll have some more fun. Once we get a solid run in. Interior, we gotta show it some love too. Um, steering wheel setup, obviously replace that with everything. You guys, we gotta fix the shift linkage. Um, you guys see the interior needs some love, but it's not bad. It's a gem, so what do you want for a car that's old school? Change the wheel and tire setup. It has some meaty tires already, but check it out. Maybe find some new uh, stickers and stuff to relive in it. That would definitely be cool and helpful. But it's not bad. We're going to get this car uh, to the body shop as well. After we get the motor yanked out, we're going to take it to the body shop, get it all cleaned up. Check out the firewall numbers and check out the badge. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that for you guys. So everything's original in the car down to the fenders, the motor swap, and all of it, so that's what makes it even better. We got the super parked all the way over there, so we're gonna have a new school and an old school project at the shop for you guys. Once we get this body prepped and stuff and, that, and actually get it wrapped and stuff, it's gonna look a lot better, and then possibly wrap the super along while we're doing that job as well, but so far we're pretty excited about this new project coming to the shop, and hopefully you guys are too. Make sure you guys hit that sub button if you guys haven't already, and stay tuned. <laughs> Javi's pulling up in the midst of all this. Got to take the uh, baby to the shop right now, go make some room for him. All 
right guys just like that the car is loaded onto the tow truck on our way to the shop right now and can't wait to get our boys over to rip this motor out the fun setup is gonna the, the fun is just barely beginning we're gonna do new school and old school stuff so we're super excited make sure you guys hit that sub button if you guys are excited as well comment what color you guys think we should wrap it and all that cool stuff that you guys believe that might happen and make sure you guys stay tuned how you feel clay you excited Fuck yeah, bro. <laughs> Get that baby going. Time to take the, the Celica. I almost said Supra. <laughs> Time to take Celica to the shop. Let's get the roll going. Last night it was a cold killer. Gotta keep the devil in his hole, nigga. But you know how it go, nigga. Every time the sun, nigga. Somebody fucked up. Why they shoot close? Shoot close. I don't know what wheel setup you guys think we, we should put on it. Comment the wheels you guys want to see on it, maybe some suggestions. We're gonna take it to the body shop and get it all cleaned up too first and get the bumper and everything else straightened out. But what kind of wheels do you guys think you guys, you guys want to see on it? Alright guys, you guys can see we made it to the shop. What I gotta do is rearrange. Right here's a little Civic we picked up to sell. I gotta either move the Audi and move the van. One of the I gotta figure out what spot to put the Celica at because it's gonna stay there for a little while. So I'm probably gonna put it where the van's at because that's more easy. And this one's a lot easier for whatever cars we do right here. So let's go ahead and play musical cars and then get that put away. If I do it, yeah, I it. Push you got it. No, I got it. I'm just trying to like not hit the Audi. <laughs> Alright guys, so there you guys have it. The Celica made it home safe. This is where it's going to be housed right now for the meantime while we put it all together after my boy comes and rips this motor belt. Gets that whole process started of getting a good solid running car. As we do that, we're going to push it to the body shop, get it painted instead of wrapping it. We're going to get it painted. Uh, pretty dope color. So we're actually excited about this little old school project. It's gonna, I know a lot of people are going to be excited with us. Thank you guys for watching the video. And the next clip I'm about to show you is a little... Um, if you made it this far, it's a little clip of my next little documentary side thing that I'm doing for my own personal stuff, a side of cars. That's going to tell a little bit of story about how I got here. So if you guys are interested in that, you guys can continue watching this video and see the short clip that I'm about to show you. But yeah, shout out to you guys. Major love to you guys. If you guys haven't hit that sub button, please go ahead and hit that sub button. Hit the share, tell your friends, tag me in stories and all this stuff. It really goes a long way. Hopefully you guys are excited as we are to see what's in store for this one and everything else that goes along with the shop. So shout out to you guys. Enjoy the rest of the video and hit the sub. So I'm gonna try to go back and find some pictures of the cars that used to be parked right here. Basically some people would meet me right here or any of these few parking spots, like we got a little Civic SI right there, that I would meet up and basically they would buy parts for me while I was working. But mainly I used to work the drive through so anytime a cool car would come through, I'd basically hit them up and ask them if they needed parts and things like that. So just a little bit more of the background, not bad.